It's Thursday. Thursday puzzle time. Here it is. Thursday puzzle. Thursday crossword puzzle. New York Times. Thursday crossword. It's going to be something wacky, something difficult, something tricky, something maybe a rebus. Um, I'm thinking maybe we get a rebus today. Rebus, of course. When you put multiple letters in one box, as if it's like a picture, but it's not a picture. Or I guess you could draw a picture, but that's kind of hard to do on a keyboard. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Get to the puzzle, Steve. I will. The constructor is Dan Caprera. The solver is me. That's Steve. This is Solve with Steve. I'm going to solve the puzzle. Have you solved the puzzle? Yeah? Is it a good one? Is it crazy? Is it out of the ordinary? I hope so. It's Thursday. It's supposed to be something special. Let's solve the puzzle. Horror films don't create fear. They release it. Could be Hitchcock, but it's not. A lot of short letters. Interesting uh, We uh, shape of the grid here. Hmm. A lot of short, short uh, words. Center cut. I don't know. Length just over one centimeter is, uh, I don't know. Um... I don't know. Uh, entertainment one might view from a box. Opera, maybe? Uh, opera box. They actually call it the opera box. Half of a rhyming game name. I don't know. The name game. Mine in Marseille. I think it's that Amwa. Uh, that seems right. Desert near Sinai would be the Negev. A little Israel knowledge there. Um, let's see. Indecent. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, it rude? Nude? I don't know. It's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, natural find within a cavity. I don't know. Uh, geode? Maybe third most common Chinese surname. Could be Wong? Eh, seems pretty common. Let's go with that one. That, that W could change. Competitive poker. Uh, like somebody's going to poke you? Uh, I'm not sure. State flower of Utah is the seagull lily. I did a, a report on Utah in like fourth grade and I still remember that. Uh, guiding statements are credos or are they creeds? Let's go with credos. Uh, jet black at hair is raven hair. It is geode, yes. Uh, competitive poker uh, what? Direct, uh, what? That doesn't look right. Wes Craven. Oh, okay. Wes Craven is so... Oh, do you compare to poker? Oh, it's a, it pokes you. That's a good clue for Epe. All right. But Wes Craven goes down that way. So that's what we're doing. Something about this. Capital of Washington. Uh, dollar. One dollar bill. Some people on deck. Huh. Or ones, maybe. Okay, uh, that have one. Okay. Male members of the House of Saud are emirs, I guess. Uh, like so, like the the Saudis. Uh, let's see, uh, Mesa Verde National Park. I was there in Colorado. Really cool. Uh, ticks off a noise. Uh, what you do just for grins? A smile. Um, the world smiles with you. Some people on deck are are seamen. Uh, he actually died about fifteen hundred years before the fiddle was invented. Would be Nero. Ha <laughs> ha. So actually. Actually, we're being mansplained in the crossword puzzle. Actually, uh, Nero died 1,500 years before the fiddle. Okay, ticks off is not annoyed. It's something else. Uh, infam in uh, I am not a crook. Infamous presidential denial. I am not a crook. So we got to go down here. Corner piece is the rook, like in in uh, in uh, in chess. The rook starts in the corner. Quizzes asks ask me a question. The Legend of Zelda was on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. Desire for a Lonely Heart is a doe. Ah, owner of a lonely heart. Oh, there's a joke in that. In that. Okay. Our bodies need 20 plus different kinds to function. What? Amino acids. Uh, is it? So trap is wrong. Uh, but we do have the essential amino acids, right? Uh, then we make all the proteins out of them. So let's get that. It's a sin. It's a shame. It's a, I don't know. Major Japanese company, HQ into 24... It's shaped like a rocket. Um, uh, uh, NEC, Nippon Electric Company, is that right? Uh, rubber overshoe is a galosh. Uh, lawyer in To Kill a Mockingbird is Atticus Finch. Uh, some seating sections are loges uh, at the opera. Uh, isn't out of... Has. I have this. I don't, I'm not out of it. It's a sign and half... Oh, half inch is just over a centimeter. Yes, it is. Okay, I was thinking is that. Ah, okay. I was thinking that, but I didn't say because it, it clearly didn't fit, but it did. Cool cats, copy that. I dig, y'all. Uh, wide ray, I don't know. Oh, as a, as a skate, as a manta ray, like that, like the, the animal, the ray. Its lowest score is 120. It has the LSAT. It fits. Cyber warfare with the, uh, the NSA, National Security Agency. A whole alternative is skim their types of milk. Indecent is lewd. How about that? Half of a rhyming name game, I don't know. Mal de mer is seasickness. They may proceed crowds of gold. Ole, perhaps. Pedal is to hawk to try and sell something. That doesn't. Oh, high lie is the rhyming name game. Center cut mo. Oh, mo hawk. Okay, yes, because you can have the hair. Okay, I get it. Uh, ticks off. I still don't know. Many a surgeon. 
Oh, I was an ortho, orthopedic surgeon, but that doesn't fit. Hmm, optom? No, opto? I don't know. Seasonal phenomenon. Something about uh, corner? Uh, season? Oh, because it's, it's, it's the first day of, uh, of uh, fall. Oh, how do you like that? Um, yeah, it's September 21st. I don't know if that's, that's the equinox today, but it's always around that seasonal phenomena, but that doesn't make sense. What's the, what's the answer there? Gave advice, uh, counseled, uh, like that. Ticks off. Oh, I don't know. Many a surgeon. I still don't know. Um, person who might call a child a burn is a Scott. Uh, oh, OR doc. The surgeons are the operating, operating room doctors. Oh, okay. All right, so indecision, maybe hem or haw, I don't know. Show, oh, God, it's this again. So one of these is hems and one of these is haws. All right, name of seven Danish kings. It's not Olaf. Uh, it seems like it should be. Eric is a good Danish name, right? So this is hems this way. DFA is a minor chord. That is DFA. Uh, I don't know if that was actually D, F, and A. Is this Ari? Yes, Ari, you're in the puzzle again. And hem and haw. Uh, what is this? Oh, winter migration? Oh, angers. Ticks off as angers, yes. Winter migration is, oh, because we have the shape of the birds uh, flying south for winter. Oh, they turn right and they go south for winter. Oh, my goodness. It's a raven and a hawk and a, and a, and a finch. Ah, ha, ha, good one. And a rook. Is that a type of bird? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, pass is enter. Um... Uh, conceal is away. Tuck away. RCT doesn't look right. Childish Gambino would be on RCA. So pass is, uh, I don't know, uh, an act. Like you pass legislation. Okay. Um, $10,000 pyramid um, host is now is, 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 is uh, Michael Strahan. But that's like $100,000 pyramid. But a long time ago it was Jack Clark. Jack Clark? Dick Clark. Jack Clark, baseball player. Dick Clark. Um, New Year's Rock and Eve. And Lark is a is a bird. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Structure built in a catenary arch shape. Um, gateway arch is a catenary upside down. Um, I don't know. Uh, passageways are, I don't know, hallways. Uh, this again, I don't know. Be overly sweet is cloy, like cloying sweetness. It's so sweet, it's not tasty. Sprinted is to tour, is tour, is ran really fast. Drinks should not be served shaken. Um, it's not a martini. Not be served shaken. Oh, soda, because then it gets it goes flat. Yay, verily it is true. Uh, an igloo is in a catenary arch shape, so it supports its own weight. Ah, very good. Passageways are ducts. Oh, this again. Okay, T brand is uh, Tetley. No, Tazo uh, is a T brand. Ending with Euro, the Euro zone. Animals on Nebraska's state quarter. Uh, oxen, maybe. Um, seems like it fit. And New York Cinema will be the Roxy. Up to this point is yet. ENT treats your tonsils. A place for a brace is on your knee. You can wear a knee brace. Okay, what do we have here? When many businesses open at 9 is the standard time. Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Freshen is to renew. Dia de los Reyes está en enero in January. Uh, food está is like place if you're in something. If it takes place, it's like I'm not sure. If that's esta or ser, I'm not sure. Uh, food that can be eaten to help with anemia, something with iron, iron. How about liver? And how some money is held in escrow. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. I thought I, thought I knew stuff, and I didn't. Uh, oh, escrow. Yeah. Boo, do, boo, do, do, do. Got it right. Okay. That was fun. That was fun. I love the theme there. The birds are flying south for the winter. It's a winter migration. And now today, I think is the first day of fall, right? It's September 21st. If not, I mean, it's plus or minus a day, but it's right around now is the seasonal phenomenon today. But that's not the seasonal phenomenon in the puzzle. Um, the winter migration is the revealer. What happens in the winter? The birds fly south. And so we have director who said horror films don't create fear Wes Craven the director of Scream and other horror films and look what happens the bird the raven flies south for the winter so you have all these phrases so Wes C is not that one goes along but raven flies by itself is indeed clued as jet black as hair so that's pretty good then we have center cut is a mohawk hawk it also is clued as petal so we need okay we need words or phrases that end with a bird so that the bird can be a down clue but the bird is by itself also has a different meaning this is pretty uh pretty intense because the bird has to be whoa <laughs> dan caprera well done man <laughs> holy cow 
the bird itself has to also be clued as something that is not a bird, right? So over here we have raven is not clued as a bird. It's the dark black color, and it's also the end of Wes Craven. Here we have hawk is not clued as the bird. It's to peddle, to hawk your wares, to sell stuff, and it's the end of mohawk. Then over here, finch is the lawyer. Atticus Finch is the name of the character, uh, central character, the lawyer in To Kill a Mockingbird. Maybe that's a central character, but you know, a, uh, the admirable uh, lawyer in, in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird is, is Finch. Finch is also a bird, and it's the end of the phrase half finch, half inch. Woo! There's a lot going on here. Uh, this is not hem minor chord. Here we have, uh, no, that wasn't it. It's at the end here. Uh, so we have crow, to toot one's horn, I got a crow. Um, we got a crow, right? Um, but also, crow is a bird, and it's flying south through the winter, and it's at the end of the phrase in escrow. Some money is held in escrow. Then we had, there were six of them. We have the lark. This one is a little bit uh, iffy because they had to clue it as part of a, a larger phrase to do something on a lark, which is, is perfectly good, but I guess they couldn't come up with something that lark meant. Does it, does it mean anything other than that? I don't know. But this lark is the end of on a lark, so that's a, it's a, a perfectly good uh, uh, clue for, for, Anna, for lark. Uh, and it's also the end of Dick Clark who was the host of the $10,000 pyramid and maybe the $25,000 pyramid, but not, I think it now says it's the $100,000 pyramid, right? And I think it's Michael Strahan. Um, it's somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's gotta be Strahan. Okay. Anyway, um, the, what was it said six times. And so, oh, Rook. So Rook is apparently a bird, which I did not know. I'm totally gonna look that up. Um, it's also the corner piece in, in chess, and it's also the end of the phrase, I am not a crook. So, wow. That, that explains why the grid, remember at the very beginning I said, oh, this is a lot of small letters. The grid just looks a little cramped. It looks a little, I don't know. Um, but this is why, because they had all those turns. I guess when you see something like this, this stack of four uh, black squares right there, that's not common, um, especially... Uh, later in the week, you generally see the more open grid, but this is why they did it that way. So totally makes sense. Uh, really good. I'm going to look up Rook as a bird and see that it is, in fact, a bird. Not that I don't believe you. I just want to learn. And then we're going to call it a day. What a good... Oh, this is a good one. So we're going to zoom out here, and we're going to say Rook bird. That's what I'm going to look at. Rook. Rookie of the year. The rookies. The rookie, 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 rook chess. Rook bird. Rook, bird, Rook, Ben, 10, Rook, Bishop, Checkmate, Rook, Bird, New York, Rook, Book, Rook, Question, okay, Rook, Bird, it is indeed a bird, it kind of looks like a raven with a white beak, all right, uh, oh, it's a Corvidae, that's like, that's crows, so it is like a white raven with a white beak, its range extends from Scandinavia and Western Europe to Eastern Siberia, does it fly south for the winter, I wonder, all right, so the Rook, the bird, it totally ah birds will form flocks in winter, often in the company of other corvids. Migrate mainly resident, but the northernmost may migrate southwards to avoid the harshest winter conditions. That makes sense. All right, yeah, corvus means raven. How do you like that? Not to be confused with the rook in chess. Yeah, it totally looks like a raven with with a white beak. Okay, never more. All right, well, that's pretty cool. A fairly large bird. 46 centimeter wingspan, no, 46 centimeter length, about a meter in wingspan. Yeah, it's kind of kind of big. Um, my wingspan is longer than that, but I can't fly. So, you know, we got our pluses and minuses. All righty. Average lifespan is six years. I got to beat. All right. Enough, enough, enough. Has been introduced into New Zealand. Range is very localized. Invasive pest. Oh, no. Wiped out the larger breeding colonies in New Zealand, but the small groups have become more wary. Alrighty, that was fun. That was a great puzzle. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, and very deep. Very there's the, 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 I like the extra layers to the uh, to the theme. Really, really a nice puzzle. Thank you for that that splendid, splendid Thursday. Um, Dan Caprera. I very much enjoyed the puzzle. I hope that you very much enjoyed the puzzle and I hope you decide to like the puzzle and to 
subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a comment if you would like to leave a comment share with social media let's get everybody on the solve with steve bandwagon why not right it's a good time all right thank you so much i had a great time i will see you again in the future why because it's fun to make these and it's fun to watch these and that is the goal and that's why we do it and i'll see you all in the future Bye bye